then I, I wrote uh, two songs with some bandmates of mine. I wrote I Never Knew a Hurricane with my bandmate Cyril Neville. And I wrote a song called The Road Never Ends with my bandmate Devin Allman. Uh, so out of the, uh, the 13 songs on the album, I have to do my math, I wrote uh, eight songs. You know, eight songs, some, some covers, and a couple of uh, co-writes. In this area right here is where Blind Willie Johnson resides somewhere. It took him about 50 or 60 years to find the actual grave. And uh, they don't know the exact position of this. The memorial that is put up for him. Let it shine on me. Let it shine on me. Let your light from that house shine on me. Well, my Lord is done. Sonny and Delbert. Well, um, tell you about Sonny Landreth and Delbert McClinton. I, I just, I'm a fan of music, you know. I mean, these, these guys are heroes of mine. I, I first saw Sonny Landreth in 1991 or 1992, opening up for Little Feet uh, in St. Louis. And I think around the same time I saw Delbert McClinton, like in 1990 or 91 with Danny Gatton in St. Louis at the Sheldon Theater. And I just became huge fans of those guys while I was still in St. Louis. So now, years later in my career, I've gotten to be so lucky and get to be friends with these guys. I've opened up for them, I've played music with them. And so I thought, well, that's part of the music that I'm trying to talk about in the story of this album. Uh, Sonny is, is the Gulf Coast sound. I mean, you know, Lafayette, Houston, it's the swampy rock and roll sound. And he really, to me, his playing, his style, his work he did with John Hyatt, like that's really part of the sound of where I live. Delbert is really the Texas country sound. He's one of the Texas country pioneers. And uh, so I wanted to bring these guys in. And luckily enough, I'm, I'm friends with them. I was able to contact them. And we've been talking about doing something for a while. And they came in. And, uh, Sonny Landreth uh, plays guitar on a song called Rainbow Bridge, which is a real like Gulf Coast swamp rock song. And Delbert McClinton sings and plays harmonica on the song called The Road Never Ends. Uh, it's a good roadhouse Texas blues song uh, that Devin Allman and I wrote. You got all this bayou water everywhere. And uh, usually you see a lot of people fishing, especially like real early in the morning. Just coming home from gigs, I'd be driving to Lake Charles, I'd be coming home from gigs, I'd see that fire in the sky from the from the burn box, I knew where I was coming, and when I hit this bridge here, the Rainbow Bridge, it's like I'm almost home, you know? And that was the whole idea was, if I can make it to the Rainbow Bridge, I can get home. Mike Zito in the wheel, right? That's new, that's new for me. I, I had an idea, you know, I mean, from growing up, I, I guess in the 70s and 80s, I always liked, like an artist and his band. You know, like I like when they have a band and, and some of the greatest band leaders like Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Like I always thought, that man, that band is awesome. And I mean, you know, he's awesome because he had it in his mind to have this band, this sound. So I've always had that and I've been really lucky to make some great records with fabulous musicians. And a lot of times other producers. I worked with David Z, with Anders Osborne, Tony Bronigo, great producers, but they, they want to bring in musicians that they've worked with, that they know that we can get the job done. And early on, some of those records, man, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't ready yet. I was still, and I'm still developing, but, but I wasn't ready to do this album that I produced on my own and brought my own band in, you know? So they brought in all these great musicians and we made the records. So over time, I always had it in my head that when the time's right, I'm gonna put my band together. And I always liked the wheel, you know, like we're rolling, like we're on tour. It's, you know, I think that's a great, I, I, just, I love that because we're always on tour, you know? So I had these guys over the years that I had in my head like, man, if I could do, do it, I'd do this. And I have Rob Lee on drums. He's from New Orleans, he lives in New Orleans. Uh, he's been playing with me for years and I, I just, I love his drumming. Jimmy Carpenter on saxophone, who I've known for almost 15 years. I've been trying to, this is the first time I saw him in St. Louis with Jimmy Thackeray. I thought, now that's, that's, that's the sound right there. I've got Scott Sutherland on the bass guitar. 
who I first saw with Tommy Castro band. He is just the epitome of, of, of a great bass player. Lewis Stevens on the piano in B3, who played with Freddie King, played with Dublin McClinton. I mean, this, this guy is a legend. And the first time I heard him, I said, man, there it is. These are guys, you know, over the, the years of playing, and I've played, and I've got a lot of great musicians, but I just thought, yeah, that's the one. Like, they're, they, they're doing what I like. The girl from Mexico.